Welcome to Touched and Empowered, a show created to empower individuals to value their lives by hosting think tank discussions that will inspire positive action. Touched and Empowered with Katie and Ace starts now. In this episode, we continue the conversation of the power of affirmations and setting boundaries. I Actually, you know what's interesting about holding your boundaries? What? We found that some people... Uh, def- there's a different definition of boundaries that people believe to be boundaries and what's actually a wall. There's a difference. True. Right? A boundary is this is where the line is. Please don't pass it. If you want to pass it. There are consequences. Gonna, there's There are consequences. Right? Or depending on if you're coming in to pass the boundary because I trust you to fix something there. Right. Cool. Please exit respectfully as well and let me. That type of thing. Right. One. Two. The wall. That's actually not necessarily a boundary. That is a lack of trust. Boundaries come with trust. True. And it's the same thing with, you know, having your friends and then having your inner circle those are those are quote-unquote boundaries as well because one of your acquaintances doesn't become your best friend immediately you know there's still that earning of trust and i think that goes for any kind of boundary or any kind of limit that we set is having that communication having that trust having that respect for somebody who may not be on the same wavelength or path that you are on because we all move at different speeds. Exactly. For instance, I remember Katie and I, can I, can <laughs> I talk about the, the four hour boundary? Go for it. Awesome. Katie and I work a lot, right? We do. We know how to work a lot together. We know how to build together. And I can be a bit of a, um, there's a word for it, uh, <laughs> locomotive. <laughs> um bullish locomotive um i can totally drive something bullet train bullet train thank you bullet (laughs) train i could drive something to completion as fast as possible and not know what time it is and how much we've been working and how much i could be burning both of us out with that in mind we came to the boundary agreement of only four hours of working together a week if we go over that we have to we do have to pause we we pause we check in We, Mm -hmm. okay, are you available or do you have the energy? Do you have the bandwidth? You know, do you need food? Do you need water? (laughs) You know, so from working with someone's standpoint, I greatly appreciate that boundary because even though I don't move at bullet train speed, I'm more of wagon, slow and steady. (laughs) I mean, you have steel wheels. I have steel wheels. That's cool. I'm I'm good with that. But I also know that I will also lose track of time and will be at my desk for 18 hours straight if mm. I'm not careful. So right. from the standpoint of working with somebody else who has that same kind of let's get it done and, and lose think- track of time, even though you're you move faster than I do, we both have that drive to get stuff done. So Being able to check in and being like, okay, good. Yes, we're good. Okay, let's keep going for another hour. Or you know what? I'm done for the day. I love you, but I'm done. And being able to be, okay, no big deal. We'll pick up next time. Yeah, because it's important. We're still human. (laughs) That's the the important part. And like, it did take me a while to realize people don't build as fast. And that's okay. Like, and not, not in a, and this isn't being... Ladies and gentlemen, this isn't me being like, I can perform like this. I'm better than it. No. 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 It has nothing to do with that. It has everything to do with the fact that there are certain people that can do that and they have a specific role to play with the people that they work with. Yeah. They're not everyone can be the lead pitcher on a baseball team or the quarterback on a football team. Everyone has their own strengths. I know I'm throwing in sports metaphors. I shouldn't do that. We'll make it musical. We could be the leads. Not everyone can be the lead singer. You need to have someone playing the bass and the drums. We'll we'll throw in a different metaphor in there. (laughs) Throw in something that is like that's not real. 
No, I could. All right, so folks, well, another. All right, Katie needs to just stop with metaphors today. I get it. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. No, you can. <laughs> All right, for instance, it's like saying to somebody, hey, not everyone can be it. Like, do you ever watch High School Musical? There's like a part in there. It's like, not everyone deserves a star role. We need cast members, right. singers, backup dancers, too. That's not what we want to be. In order for a team to work, ladies and gentlemen, there are specific roles that have to play natural to who you are. Right. Very natural. Katie's natural component to who she is has a compassion that I need. Not saying that I'm not compassionate, but she does help me remind myself of how to continue to be more compassionate. One. Two. Katie can build tech faster than I can. Yes. Uh, we have we have learned that, that is accurate. <laughs> that is incredibly accurate. I can call manifest and bring in relationships and partnerships faster. That's our speed. Cooperation. Yeah, it's it I believe it's the combination of cooperation and the communication and the respecting of each other's boundaries and the fact that we both do things like affirmations. We both practice acts of gratitude. We both practice self-care. So we are aware of these kinds of working dynamics in our world. So then that way, not only do we function better, but other people in our world function better. And mm -hmm. the easiest place to start is with affirmations and Absolutely. just starting small. I was, yeah, sure. I was going to go to a bigger affirmation. But okay, you go small. for, no, no, no. Yeah. Well, okay, you have to start somewhere. And if you want to start did. with a giant leap, start with a giant leap. For me, I had to start small. I started, I started with I am loved, the, the, I am beautiful, I am smart, I am loved, I am strong. Mm -hmm. That, that's a pretty, that's that affirmation right there. That's, that is a simple one, even though it sounds like it transcends things very fascinating. Yes, that's a good one. Um, so what is the big then, one that you want to bring in now? Well, I want to also express Katie's, your your affirmations transcend those, right? They're longer, they're more developed, they're more true to who you are. They they build trust, they build safety. Those four didn't necessarily build trust or safety. They just helped me get out of negativity. <laughs> right. And th that's why I said you have to start somewhere. Right. And yeah. it's it's one of those things that, what I found is there was a point in my life where I could not even say that I loved myself. Mm, yeah. I, I, I had to start with, I like myself. Okay. Actually, no lies. I started with, I don't hate myself. And then I went to, I like myself. And then I went to, I love. So I understand everyone way. has to start, you know, you have to start okay. somewhere. Okay. So thank you. That's a good way to start. If, if you, go straight to I love myself when you're not in that vibrational energy you're going to completely discount it because you're going to think you're lying to yourself because you that don't is feel true. it yes you know I, I sorry I okay really go because <laughs> you, you just talked about something very specific about that so I actually learned that if you air quotes do that and then you keep saying I am blah and it's turns out to be a feeling of lying to yourself because that's true you can say i am a billionaire and then you don't feel it and you feel like you're lying to yourself right right that actually gives you a disservice that's another fun hack to actually tell everybody if you do that and you feel like it's a lie and it's not resonating you know you do have to build up to it right but the fast and fun way to build up to it is asking a question what question like how am I so awesome? And then the universe, I, I, don't get me wrong. If you say, how am I so awesome? And you really don't believe it, then the universe actually provides that proof in your face. Well, that's one of the reasons why I like this process of finding the evidence. Because the best example I have is I swore up and down I could not make money as an entrepreneur which is why I always, I've had a job since I was 14. That's why I always had a job. I always got a paycheck every two weeks. So I knew how to pay my bills and everything else like that. Mm -hmm. I swore I could not make money as an entrepreneur. COVID hit, 
lost my corporate job, struggled to make money. Mm. Until I realized, oh, wait, I used to babysit. I used to get paid to walk dogs. I used to do fundraising in high school to go on trips and people gave me money. Hmm. Right. I that that's evidence that I can make money without having a nine to five job. Let's see what else can come in. Happen. Right. And when I noticed those little things, I was then able to see where I received more money, bigger lump sums of money doing entrepreneurial stuff instead of relying on a nine to five job. So let's actually put that into perspective for everybody and give them like an actionable step. Is that cool? Go for it. All right. So if you are struggling with money, which, you know, the job market is hell right now. Yeah. Thank you, AI. Um, <laughs> and additional other things. So if you are struggling with that, how am I deserving of money? How am I deserving of this much money? How am I worthy of this position? How am I prosperous? How can I be more prosperous? How am I deserving of being so brilliantly happy? That type of verbiage, when you ask that out loud, mm -hmm. will present itself. Because what it does is it helps our mind look for those answers. Yes, and you don't have to worry about the how, funny yeah, enough. You don't correct. have to worry about it. But it will present your present itself in a specific way that way. And once you start to see evidence, your mind will then find more evidence. And then the universe will provide more evidence. And then more stuff will show up. Yeah. And what is, or my favorite, what is the purpose of this relationship? Why? How can, <laughs> what, how, what is the mission between both of us? How can we fulfill it? if it's not long lasting that happens a lot in relationships when friendships right. uh, partnerships marriages like if you need to close out a marriage close out a partnership close out a relationship close out whatever type of relationship it is and you don't know why ask what is the mission how do we complete this and that is an amazing awareness it transcends and right and that does transcend. And there's so many different possibilities that come up with that. Um, and the on only reason I say that is because earlier this week, I had dinner with my friend that I've known since third grade. Mm -hmm. And she and I had not seen each other in, let's see, her daughter is six. And the last time we saw each other, she was pregnant. So we have not really spoken in six years, but we met for dinner and filled each other in on what's happened in the last six years. And it was like, our friendship never diminished. That's how I felt when I saw Isaac. Yeah. So it's one of those, you know, people might come in just for a season or for a time frame, but you still have that deep connection. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's funny because like, there is a difference between, oh shit, I'm going to lose this person. Is it over? Because that doesn't transcend that mission-based thinking. When you do right. that, it's okay if it's over. It's okay if they're not going to be around because you, know, you get a new mission and you've completed something and there's actually time to celebrate at that point. Which comes back to the whole aspect as to People who are currently in your world mm -hmm. can leave to make space for somebody new to come into your world to help level you up, to help yeah. raise your vibration, help bring in new awareness, new vocabulary. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> I was thinking that too. <laughs> new, new words of affirmation. New yes. words of affirmation. Um, so then that way you can continue this growth that mm -hmm. I think all of us continue to have throughout our entire lives. I really do think that once we stop growing, things become stagnant. So looking for some way to improve or take a step up every single day, I think is very important. Incredibly. And that's actually how you can change your life in a year. It only takes one new refinement of a step every day for mm -hmm. 30 days 
to actually change so much in your life. Some people go a little overboard and do two, but True. <laughs> no, True. you can't that do two. Does... But you you could do yeah, five you if you wanted to. I mean, That's, it's really it gets nutty. It does, but sometimes you need a little nuttiness. Mm-hmm. And I, I then you can back it down to two a day that's more manageable. Sometimes you need that kick in the butt to get you going. And then you bring it back down to manageable. So, so for, uh, <laughs> I know Katie knows I'm a high performer, hence the bullet train, right? Right. So here's the big difference. And, you know, this also ties into the affirmations and efficiency, because most of the time our affirmations are to make things more efficient so we can feel stable to keep moving forward. True. Okay. And it could be in the form of questions, it could be in the form of verbs. But what's really important to understand, verbs, <laughs> pausing, they can be in the form of questions and they can be in the form of statements, like we just said. But when it comes to improving yourself, you don't want to put yourself in a state of anxiety because then you'll regress. True. So sometimes more than two at a time will 100% set you back. I think it's more of consistent small steps than volume. Now, I'm not kidding. I sometimes need to do that five a day to get the kick in the butt to get me started. What are the five? I was talking about the nuttiness, the five little micro steps. Yeah, I want I want to know what the five micro steps are because I'm I'm so what I'm saying is the I apologize I just want to clarify. So the five micro steps are fine. That's fine. It's working on two things at a time, two objectives. Oh, to okay. Change. Very different. Yeah. Okay. Now that, thank you for clarifying, because okay, for me, you know, doing five steps on one objective is a little bit nutty. It's a little insane. It's a little overwhelming for me. See, that's where I'm like, all right, let's do 10. That's- right. And I can understand that. And I can, and for example, <laughs> to get started, I'm with you at 10. Give me 10 for like the first three days. And then I'm stepping it back to two a day. And I gotcha. will consistently do two a day to get to the finish line. Gotcha. Okay. Here's- <laughs> so yeah we a little bit of miscommunication here but that's okay that's okay the, yeah, like- the beauty the beauty of it is for me anyways is doing small consistent i reach my goal without even thinking about it same um over time it'll actually become second nature so for right. instance K- katie was like two steps towards that one objective right or right. five steps to kick you in the butt, right? Yeah, I'll I'll do five to get just to, to like leap me forward, and then it's a steady two. If I try and do five on a regular basis, I'm going to burn out and give up. And understood, understood. Mm-hmm. So, in retrospect and understanding our rhythm, right, right, that is why certain people work for a certain amount of time. Like for me, Katie and I can meet for four hours or less and I can do as she can let me go off and do my own thing mm-hmm. and do the 25 steps in a day right after we talk and then the next day I'm just like checking in to see if she needs anything which while works she's out sleep- which yeah. works out while I'm still doing my little two-step over here on the side <laughs> and I'm okay and I'm and I am so okay with that because I know that she's doing it to a way where I know it is done perfectly. Oh, that's a high order perfectly, but thank you for that. Well, I'm sorry. High level of standard of excellence. Like <laughs> honestly, it, well, I'm sorry. Perfectly is a, is a high standard. I apologize. Excellent. Thank standard. you. <laughs> she, very excellent. Like basically, in my opinion, that standard of excellence, like I perform at the standard of excellence, that affirmation right. will allow for immediate and freaking rocket launching growth. So that affirmation right there is the reason why I can go 25 steps in growth in like an hour and a half. 
you know, it it's the power of belief. It really is the power of belief because I know that, oh, this is a fun belief right here. The fourth dimension of time. Yeah. Doesn't exist unless I say so. Because yeah. I can do my little two step and meet you at the finish line at the exact same time with you doing your 25 a day. Exactly. That's why it works with the four hours a week or less. <laughs> Which is, again, the beauty of affirmations and the belief that we have that we can get stuff done when we need to get it done. Exactly. You should have seen how I built that. We built a deck together that honestly I know would take people a year and a half to create. By myself, that deck would have probably taken me eight months. Yeah. Really? Wow. See, I yeah, know a I've... team of five on a deck like that t took a year and a half to five years to build. Okay, it might have taken me that long if I had to design everything. <laughs> but see, I I know my limits. I would use a template. <laughs> That's things in half, right? I used a template. But but uh, yeah, no, something like that, the research, the development, the question, the questions to ask in order to actually build that type of deck that we created. Mm -hmm. uh, when I talk about a deck, ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking about a marketing um, like investment uh, uh investment book is essentially to, to present right. um and yeah we actually got secure um secure like interest but a deck like that that we did create it was like what 25 slides plus um with yeah. with research and data that actually came from the sources that we knew would be um impactful trust impactful and trusted it can't right. just be any like random um, lifestyle magazine data. It actually has to come from a very specific research source. And not everybody knows how to find that or know it's available with the respect that it needs. So that research actually can take three years. And on that note, <laughs> for those of you who happen to be watching the video on YouTube, apparently Ace is jumped off or her phone died or the internet kicked out or something else like that so the impact of affirmations is something that ace and i have discussed through this entire episode and both of us do believe that they can help all of us grow um not only individually but in our relationships as well so on that note Add your affirmations to the comments of this episode. You know, we'd love to find new ones. And if you have questions, let us know. Until then, take care of you. Thank you so much for being part of our community. And take care. Bye. Thank you for joining us. We hope that the discussion today will inspire you to take positive action in your life. Until next week, be empowered.